Hey, it's Bill here, and I'm at Seven World Trade Center in New York City, which, as we know, is FXDD's headquarters. And today we're going to talk about the week ahead in Forex. However, before we do that, let's remember, foreign exchange carries a high degree of risk. So do yourself a favor and read the disclaimer at the end of today's video. So as I said, we're going to be talking about the week ahead in Forex, and we're talking about the week beginning Sunday, November 11th. So let's start off with actually Monday. And Monday, remember, all these times are New York times. So at Monday, you have the food price index, and that's out of New Zealand, and that comes out at 4.45 p.m. New York time. On Tuesday, we have the German ZEW economic sentiment. That's a high priority number. That comes out at 5 o'clock a.m. On Tuesday as well, we have the Westpac consumer sentiment, and that is a medium impact number, and that's at 6.30 p.m., and that's in Australia. Wednesday's kind of a big day. We have three releases we want to concentrate on. Number one, we have the claimant count change in the sterling or in the UK, and that is actually the unemployment number, and that comes out at 4.30 a.m. for you early birds. Also on Wednesday, we have the Bank of England Governor Mervyn King will be speaking. That's at 5.30 a.m., so that's about an hour after the economic release that we talked about. And also on Wednesday, we have the Federal Open Market Committee here in the United States, and that's at 2 o'clock p.m. On Thursday, we have the typical Thursday unemployment claims in the United States, and that's at 8.30 a.m. Also on Thursday, we have Chairman uh, of the Fed, Ben Bernanke, he'll be speaking, and that's actually a tentative number. We don't exactly know what time he'll be speaking, but it will be interesting, as it will be the first time he's speaking after the election. Rounding out the week on Friday, we have the current account, and that is actually an account of the goods and services and all the actual payment transfers going in and out of the Eurozone. So everybody, these are some of the highlights for next week. These are not all of them. Do yourself a favor, go to fxdd.com, click on the economic calendar, and certainly, if you have any questions, you can go to fxdd.com, click on the Ask FXDD section, and send us your question, and we'll do our best to answer it. That's all I have for today. Best of luck in your trading. Have a great week.